Hi, my name is Bernard Kaur, and I'm one of the principal investigators here at the Benaroya Research Institute. And our vision is for every person with autoimmunity to have safe and effective therapies to treat and ultimately to prevent disease. Our immune system uses inflammation to protect against infection, but imbalanced inflammation, for example, too much at a wrong place at a wrong time leads to autoimmunity. Because the causes of this imbalance can be different in different people, our lab is interested to understand new pathways that regulate inflammation so that we can not only develop new therapies, but also select which of the existing therapies might be the best and most suitable for each individual person. Some of the common questions that people ask me include, uh, what's unique about how we study autoimmunity? So we study autoimmunity by trying to understand why people with Down syndrome are at much higher risk of autoimmunity. So this is over a, up to a hundredfold higher than the general population. These are common autoimmune diseases, including type 1 diabetes, including psoriasis, celiac disease, and many others. This can really have a negative impact on their lives. And our hope is that by understanding why people with Down syndrome get autoimmunity, this will help us not only develop new therapies, but also try to select which of the existing therapies might be the best suited to treat them. People often ask me, why do we think people with Down syndrome get more autoimmunity? Now, people uh, with Down syndrome have an extra copy of chromosome 21. They have three copies of chromosome 21. And what this tells us is that specific genes on chromosome 21 must be driving this increased risk of autoimmunity. In particular, our lab is interested in one gene called DERK1A. And the reason we're interested is because studies in our lab show that this gene can drive excessive inflammation, but even more importantly, we can reverse this using drug-like compounds. And what we hope this means is that we might be able to develop a new class of therapies for autoimmunity. Does this work have any relevance to people without Down syndrome? And indeed, it very much does. Because there's a lot of overlap in the mechanisms used by the immune system, our strong belief is that if we can understand why people with Down syndrome get autoimmunity, then we can help identify people in the broader typical population who also have autoimmunity for related reasons, who might also benefit from the same kinds of therapies. Also, as you've probably heard before, uh, understanding how the immune system is different in people with Down syndrome will help us not only develop new therapies, but also to understand how to treat uh, not only autoimmunity, but also other immune-related disorders. Why is the Benaroya Research Institute a good place to do this work? And I like to tell them it's not only a good place, it is a unique and great place to do this work. The reason is because this kind of work requires a lot, an incredible amount of extensive and tight collaborations between many different groups. For example, our lab collaborates tightly with uh, experimental method specialists like cytometry specialists, disease model specialists, chemists, computational big data scientists, uh, specimen collection uh, specialists, the Down syndrome physicians, and participant families. And this kind of extensive collaboration is a skill set all in and of itself and requires uh, really an institutional infrastructure to nourish and nurture it. This kind of collaboration is a specialized skill set all in and of itself and really thrives best in an institutional environment that encourages and is designed to nurture it. And that's what is hardwired into the DNA of the Benaroya Research Institute. For example, our teams are so experienced and used to this kind of collaboration that we were able to start from scratch and recruit about 100 participants in about a year. We were able to get our first results in about two years. That's really an amazing amount and speed of progress. And finally, people often ask me, uh, how can we help? And to whom, to these people, I like to say thank you so much for your interest and your willingness to help. Uh, it really means an extraordinary amount. There are many ways to help us in our mission. There's a way that's right for everyone, and every little bit helps. For example, uh, we are constantly looking to expand our sample libraries. 
both people with and without autoimmunity, with and without Down syndrome. Financial contributions are really important to help us advance early work that will help us land larger federal grants. And finally, just building awareness, telling other people, your family, your friends, your network, what we do and why you think it's so interesting and important. The more people that we can get on board to help us with our mission, the more progress we'll make, the faster we'll make it, and the sooner we'll get to improving people's lives.